Hello. Today we are going to look at some obsolete computer media. Because people like obsolete computer media. Here's, here's some you may not have seen. No, not, we're not going to talk about IBM punch cards. Just a box. We're going to talk about these weird things. Let's get one out. It's an SDS mag pack. And uh, yes, as you can see, magnetic tape. Now, SDS, Scientific Data Systems, was a mostly 1960s mini computer company. They made very high quality machines that were mostly, as the name suggests, for the scientific market. NASA purchased an awful lot of them. Actually, the U.S. government was, I think, probably the largest customer of, of their machines. They were put in various labs. Uh, universities also purchased them. They tended to be good, fast, real-time machines that you could hook some instrumentation up to for an experiment or something like that. They really were not business machines. Anyway, yes, SDS came about uh, in the very early 60s. A bunch of people from Bendix and Packard Bell founded this company, and uh, they were quite successful in the 1960s. They had a, uh, a mini computer line called the 900 series. Later, they had uh, the Sigma series, and then eventually they were purchased by Xerox, who lasted only a few years and by the early 1970s or so, folded. Anyway, that 900 series mini computer that I, I was talking about, there was in the 910 and 920 and 930 and a whole bunch of them, they were relatively compatible 24-bit mini computers. And uh, as, you, as you might assume, yes, they had all the, all the goodies of 1960s mini computers, core and tape and all that, and blinky light panels. Well, eventually they did come out with these mag packs, a tape unit. Initially they used kind of standard tape units, but they decided to come up with these guys here. Actually, well... This one, this one's marginally better because you can see it has a little, little bit of tape st sticking out there. We'll talk about the quality condition of these things in a bit. But apparently, this is the model 9401. Apparently, SDS like to put things in nines. Uh, assembly, cartridge, magnetic tape, and as you can see, it kind of looks like a weird, uh, oversized music cartridge or even a quick cartridge that were common in, well, the 80s, 90s, and a little bit up to this day, although kind of fallen out of favor. But, uh, yes, no no metal backing like, uh, like the <laughs> more modern ones, but uh, we see a little chip out of that one. But, yeah, some sort of plastic. We've got, looks to be about a quarter inch tape couple of hubs. This uh, this pushy thing here, which appears to be some sort of brake system. If you look at that, hey, I should get my pointy thingy out here. You can see that this, this metal slider, which, oh, I just bumped the phone. This metal slider here you can push, obviously, when you mount, mount the tape, that gets pushed by well, a little pin or something like that. And you can see little teeth here. So we have even a little braking system here. But, uh, yeah. In fact, yeah, well, no, it's, it's not breaking too well. <laughs> uh, what has broken is the tape, as you can see. Um, I've got a whole box of these things. Apparently Scotch made them. You can see here the, uh, the 8000 series. No, I've not heard of that either. But, um... Oh, this one's got a uh, card in it. See, it is about IBM punch cards after all. Mag pay tape 44. That's what's punched. And uh, how about that? It's got a 44 on it. I have no idea if these have anything on them and um, or the condition. 
you know if they were for well, actually this one this box here says instrumentation magnetic tape so it probably has just a bunch of data on it you know may, maybe i should pass these these tapes under the nose of, of al see if he wants to read them although god knows with what uh yeah the the tape deck for these things was a, an sds thing uh it was for the 900 series machines and uh, apparently uh yeah there was a dual a dual deck took up not much space in the rack now each of these tapes could apparently uh, hold about four meg and uh was s somehow in the brochure there's a brochure online says the controller and the tape is IBM compatible in some way. I have no idea what it's compatible with. Um, oh, you know, I just noticed another thing. These things apparently are double-sided because we can see here. Oh, let's uh, move it this way here. That funny bullseye thing there, right there. That one says A. And that one says B. So I guess this is a double-sided thing a couple of bumpers um but yeah you can see this one's flopping around in the breeze but uh yeah apparently four megs which was a uh, an awful lot for the uh early mid 60s when these tapes came out so uh needs new leader so yeah these, these came in oh here ooh, here's the one that says bad I got these out of the black hole when they were cleaning out when I uh, went there and basically <laughs> brought a truck and a big truck and filled it. Um, these were there, so these were probably probably out of Los Alamos uh, National Lab. So they might have some interesting data on them, although they're, it's probably non-readable and so forth. You know what? Let's open this one up because this one says bad. I see a couple screws. Screws, um, well, let's see what happens. It is extremely likely that there's absolutely nothing of interest on, on these. Okay. Oh, hinges, okay. Well, there we have it. Not, not much to these. You can see, yes, we've got that uh, that uh, metal braking system here. A little spring there that we couldn't see before, but... Yeah, it's, it's quarter early quarter-inch uh, tape cartridge. And uh, from these scotch boxes, it looks like... Somewhere I read, yeah. Uh, 560 feet. Oh, <laughs> This is interesting. Apparently, uh, Scotch, Scotch thought this was going to go somewhere, and uh, I don't know if they used a stock sticker on their things, but apparently they thought they were going to put music on these. I don't know. Did these things ever have an audio version? Because, you know, I can't imagine SDS got into the audio business. Interesting. Monophonic, stereophonic. Hmm, weird. In any case, I have never seen any sort of hardware for this um according to the brochure the uh the tape deck from from sds for these was a dual rack mount affair uh, sds stuff is so so incredibly thin on the ground so rare it was never a huge company and uh, a lot of that stuff got junked out prob probably in the 80s or the 90s uh it, it seems to me sds stuff had a lot of gold in it so, yep, it probably got scrapped. So, well, that's about all I know about these interesting, weird mag packs. Let's see if we can put it back together without, well, breaking it further. Uh, as usual, this is probably a delicate operation that I probably really want. Oh, no, no there we go. Did I, oh, there, well, okay, I was about to say, it's probably a delicate operation that I want to do off off camera but i think i'm actually gonna manage to do it anyway yep weird obsolete media if any uh, old sds guys or xds after xerox bought them knows anything about these 
uh, yeah, let me know. There, there's a little bit about information on the net. I, um, I, I got it on archive, uh, archive.org, uh, but uh, I think it was probably scraped from, from BitSavers. Uh, let me know about these. I, said, I, don't, I have no information. Just about no information. Just the scant little bit online. Okay, well, yeah, leave a comment if you have anything more to add. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.